this problem is the uh, second problem of the set and it is uh, based on the synchronous counters. Uh, we'll read out the problem here. This is of gate 2009 for two marks and it is on synchronous counters. Uh, what are the counting states Q1, Q2 for the counters shown in the figure below? And there are four options here. We have to find out what are the corresponding counting sequence in this counter. Okay. The circuit uh, consists of two JK flip-flops with the outputs Q1 and Q2. And these flip-flops are uh, uh, negative edge triggered uh, because triangle and the circle, small circle in both the flip-flops and uh, clock is applied synchronously that means the same clock is applied to both the inputs uh, of a JK flip-flop okay we assume that uh, uh, that Q1 and Q2 is 0 that means this Q1 and Q2 initially is 0 that means the initial state or I could say uh, that uh, uh, both the flip-flops are reset. Both these are reset and the output zero. And the circuit is synchronous counter. We can write the corresponding truth table here. And this truth table will tell us uh, that uh, uh, how the states uh, are changing. Now if we see the outputs here. Q1 and Q2 as zero. Uh, we can find out corresponding to this Q1 and Q2 0, what would be the states of J1, K1 and J2, K2. Now, if Q1 is 0, this is Q1 is 0, this would be 1. This indicates that J2 is 1 and K2 is 1. So, this is state J2, K2, both are 1. And if Q2 is 0, Q2 0 gives me this is 1, both J1, K1, 1. That means the first flip-flop J1, K1, both inputs are 1. For the second flip-flop, the, both the uh, flip-flops are 1 input. Uh, that means uh, these flip-flops both are in the toggle mode. That means whenever the next clock pulse will come, these flip-flop will toggle. This means this will change after the first clock pulse uh, Q1 will toggle from 0 to 1, Q2 will also toggle from 0 to 1. So, after the first clock pulse, this is the state of the flip-flops. Now, corresponding to these uh, states, when Q1 is 1 and Q2 is 1, uh, what is the corresponding inputs at uh, J1 and K1, J2 and Q2, which would be active in the next clock pulse. So we can see when Q1 is 1, Q1 bar is 0, that means J2 is 0. So J2 is 0 and K2 is 1. So this is J2 is 0 and K2 is 1. Okay. So this is about this, this flip flop. Now, uh, if uh, Q1 is 1, uh, Q1 is 1, then uh, uh, this is uh, uh, 0 and 0 that means uh, we have seen that uh, uh, J2 is 0 and uh, uh, K2 is already 1 and if we see at J1 K1 flip flop that means uh, when it was 1 this will be 0 so J1 K1 would be 0 here so that means J1 K1 flip flop is in the previous state mode because neither set nor reset is active while this flip-flop is in the reset mode. So after the second clock pulse uh, this flip-flop remains in the previous state because of J1 K1 to be 0 and this flip-flop is goes to reset mode. Reset means the output is 0. So this is the state after the second clock pulse. 
Now, corresponding to these outputs, what are the corresponding inputs? J1, K1 and J2, K2, you can see. And corresponding to those inputs here, like this is now in the toggle mode and this is again in the reset mode. So, this toggle mode means it will change from 1 to 0 and reset mode it will remain 0. Similarly, for these outputs, what are the states at the corresponding inputs? You can find out and after fourth clock pulse, what will be the state. So, you can uh, verify this way uh, the uh, corresponding sequence of events uh, which happen and uh, you would notice that uh, the option A here, option A is the right choice uh, for this uh, uh, synchronous uh, flip-flop. Thank you.